Hello chess aficionados, I bring to you a fantastic game between Aronian and White and Nakamura Black. This happened uh, um, uh, today on the 17th that I'm uh, video, uh, producing this video here for you. Um, at the FIDE Grand Prix, knockout round um, in Berlin. This was the rapid uh, section because they, uh, to, uh, because they had ties. Uh, they had draws and that uh, this was to break the tie break and whoever won would win so let's get the show on the road look at i want there was some some faceted things that i really like how how uh i want you to especially see how uh, nakamura prepared his um aligned the stars as they say prepared his queen to be taken so that the queens were off the board then there were some interesting knight moves and then there were some interesting rook moves. So, <clears throat> well, I'm going to, uh, there's so many things to focus on, but I want you to focus on those uh, three things. And in the meantime, I'm going to explain to you what I see in this game. E4, E5, Knight of three, Knight of C6, Bishop to C4, Bishop to E8, Castling, Knight of six, rook to e1, d6, c3. Well, you, you, I'm not going to repeat that. I'm just going to continue with the, with what you see. So I'm just, it keeps going. Okay, we're attacking here. Now this is an interesting move, moving back with the bishop, like totally hiding. Kind of, I'm going to tease you, to provoke you to move that pawn. And once that's done, I move back. How will Nakamura respond? He does not, uh, well, this one is, is like a prophylactic move so that there's an escape square for the white king. So he does not take here. This would have been interesting. Anyway, but it, again, all of this stuff, I'm going fast, but takes calculation. And uh, remember, this is rapid, so they have less time to calculate. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, Nakamura castles here. Okay, the bishop goes look at this right here just if this moves it's doing two things at the same time okay it's going to attack this knight and it's going to attack this bishop if this pawn decides to move out of the way if it goes forward for example okay so many choices here so here again we have a prophylactic move so the king has a place to escape so we have now basically finished with development and we are trying to see what can we uh, accomplish before before the hot stuff happens, you know, before the fireworks where things disappear off the board. Okay, so now we move back with this bishop. We move the rook. We still develop with the knight, a bishop, the queen, and the queen also moves. Look at the queen. Interesting stuff with the queen going on. Kind of like waiting, waiting, waiting to see who's going to strike. It's come uh, To me, these are kind of like almost waiting moves. Because where's the qu where's the queen going to go? This cannot move anywhere. This queen cannot move anywhere because of this of of this uh, pawn. It can move here or here, but, but it's kind of stuck. So it's not going to be able to move. So it's almost like a waiting move here. All right, so it's opening up a little bit here where the queen might go. <clears throat> so now interesting the way the queen went here and here and here so it's still eyeing this pawn if this pawn moves hmm do we have an entry here no not yet okay so the queen now moves up <clears throat> all right i okay, see the queen was wanting to take this pawn but uh nakamu says nanai it's not gonna be taken now I'm gonna block you, queen. So now he goes and moves out his rook, attacking the bishop. Bishop moves back. We are moving up with the pawns and much more tension again. The tension is building. The tension again. So we move up too. It's kind of like a standoff, wild, wild west, but it's called the Berlin standoff, I would call it. Okay, what happens? We are rerouting our knight. Okay, because we are basically rerouting our knight here. Now we are being attacked. The knight is being attacked. So we reroute again. No problem. 
So now we're going to have more force on the king side. Interesting way of rerouting the knight. Again, the pawns, the pawns are interest, interesting way how there's a standoff here, basically. All right, so we continue the pressure. We reroute the knight again. Look how many times the knight has moved here. What's the plan? Okay, trying to put pressure on this side, getting uh, the attention off of the queen side. But Aronian keeps on trucking away on the queen side. So we take, finding take, 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 take. So look at all these things disappearing on the queen side. And take. So this was a, a reduction here, an, an interesting reduction. The queens are still on the board. Okay, protecting this pawn. You notice he moved this rook because this was a knight uh, standing by itself. So now he's moving over the queen. <clears throat> uh, Hikaru Nakamura is also moving his queen. Okay, so it's moved back. Another move back with the bishop. The bishop comes closer here, being protected by this pawn, which is also protected by the rook. So there's not much the queen can do except try to uh, protect here if you take actually not uh, trying to protect but also saying <coughs> hey queen take me take me <coughs> giving up the queen here okay so um, but, uh, uh, instead of uh, just standing with his bishop uh, Hikaru just takes this the other bishop and so we take the queen, and the queen is are off the board. Very interesting. This is a critical move in the game, I think. Very critical. This 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 little section here should be studied and studied, you know, because they could have gone totally different ways. But this is a very interesting way of getting rid of the queens. Okay, the king moves. Now we're going towards this poor little pawn here again. So we protect the pawn, so we get closer and now try to be closer to the pawn and at the same time looking at this pawn, but this, you know, is an interesting way, are we going to be doing reduction again? So he moves back with his knight, also moving back with the knight, moving in, now moving with the, with the pawn here, attacking, protecting, attack attack and take and take meaning okay so now we have a, a clear uh, path with the knight the knight is taken and so now we have this position on the board so uh, we're technically going into the end game where are we here we have one two three four five pawns one two uh, one two three four five pawns okay we have knight and the knight two rooks and two rooks so interesting how how are things positions this is where the interesting part comes in look at the end game technique here okay they say that the king is very safe with the knight so that it's coming closer to the knight we are going to, with two rooks here a battery so that's what the Ronin follows up with okay wow this is like fighting for this pawn do you see the tension how Hikaru just like what well, like a pit bull wants to that pawn, the B pawn, the white B pawn. Okay, so then we have a standoff here. So now we continue going forward with this knight. The king hides again. Okay, a nice interesting sort of um, pawn structure here. Knight moves in, attacking this pawn. Do you see that? How are we going to react? Okay, we're going to go move back to protect the pawn. Very interesting, the way, the fact that you can protect this pawn with your knight. And very, very good. This is the key thing, to position your pieces to both do what you want, but also if needed to defend, and defend correctly here. All right, so now we're continuing pressure here with the pawns. Now we're going after the knight. See, is anything protecting this knight? So knight moves out of the way. They say knight on the rim is dim. 
it cannot really be taken because of this this you know it can be taken by the pawn but anyway all right so we move back reposition move back the knight again attacking these two pawns all right these two pawns <clears throat> So now he's kind of really wants to get rid of that knight. What will this the black knight do? Nothing, because it will be taken by the pawn. So he doesn't mind having a very open file here. You know, if this if rook if, rook, if this rook ever decides to move over, but then he has the other rook is blocked. So you know, end game technique is here. Okay, knight goes back. Now knight go uh, the the rook goes after the this file here got the knight staring at it and the rook staring at this pawn but we got these two protectors here actually the the king can't uh, protect you know this there's no where's the protection for the the knight i mean the, this pawn here this did, cannot take because we have two diff, two attackers on this pawn all right so we move back here okay now we're attacking the king the king moves forward taking wow look at this move mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. both at the same time threatening this is a critical move right here what a beautiful move check and threatening this knight this is a critical move so he has to move out of the way and takes look at that wow this is almost a genius, basically genius move. Okay, we continue taking. Okay, the, the knight was taken, fine. But look how the rooks are positioned now to do the following. Takes, okay, with no threat. Now it's trying to protect the king. So moves over all the way. Try going after this pawn. Hikari says, doesn't matter because now I'm going to now be forcing your king to do this. Moving up. Uh huh. And moving up. Moving up. Moving up. And all we have to do is move the king out of the way. And what is it? Clearly, black is winning. A fantastic game by Hikaru Nakamura. Many different directions, like a twist and a turn and a twist and a turn in the road. But not just that, going like 100 miles an hour with these twists and turns because this is a rapid game. <clears throat> There's several places here that were just magnificent. Just the rook movement here, the way the queens went off the board, the way Hikaru took off the bishops, like went after the bishops, kind of meandered his way and took off the bishops early. The snipers, you know, what a game. Congratulations to Hikaru Nakamura. He is the winner of the Grand Prix uh, in uh, Berlin. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Subscribe and like. Au revoir.